Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have a new cup for May called the Forest Cup. Now, honestly, I'm going to get this mixed up with the Jungle Cup that we had in Season 1. They use different types, but a forest is basically a jungle, right? That's what it reminds me of. So I know I'm going to be calling the jungle throughout my commentary. Not necessarily on this video, but in general. Either way, we're going to go ahead and do a preparation video as we usually do. So thank you so much for my uh, opponent in agreeing to this. I think we have six games only in this uh, in this video, which is totally fine. So I'm just trying out some different Pokemon. Galvantula, uh, Ferrothorn, Blaziken, Cherim, Mantine, and Kingdra. So right off the bat, I have to tell you that Kingdra is going to be absolutely amazing for this cup. Honestly, it is going to be because it is going to be neutral to the grass attacks as well as neutral to the electric attacks. It's not going to be weak to them. So yeah, it's just going to be neutral and it's doing a lot to uh, with Dragon Breath. Not many things in the cup are going to resist it, not the grass types. I know Ferrothorn obviously does because it's a steel type as well, but for the most part, just going to be doing heavy damage with that Dragon Breath attack. Octazooka to possibly lower your opponent's attack as well and that way it's just going to be ultra powerful uh Galvantula is another one i think is going to be absolutely amazing uh Ampharos is in the cut with volt switch as well so i do want to try Ampharos. right now i'm liking Galvantula because it has bug buzz which is going to be super effective to the grass types and we're going to have plenty of those that's why i'm kind of liking Galvantula. but who knows maybe i'll like Ampharos more once i try it i don't even have one for the great league invested in yet but uh, other popular p picks are going to be Bullet Seed users, right? We're going to see them in like Cherim and Ferrothorn. So definitely going to be popular uh, options to go with. Mantine is going to be another great one. It's going to lower the attack with Bubble Beam. Just have to watch out for electric opponents. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and claim game one. So really well played. Uh, he said he was lagging a little bit. I lagged a little bit towards the end, so I'm not really too sure. But either way, I do apologize to my opponent if that was the case. Uh, so I have Mantine against his jump. Jumpluff. So Jumpluff is a Bullet Seed user that recently got a buff. Uh, going for the Aerial Ace, uh, I have Wing Attack on my Mantine. I'm going to go straight Ice Beam because I'm thinking, well, he'll probably think it's a Bubble Beam and not Shield, and that's what happens. So we're able to claim an easy knockout. Uh, so he switches in, well, he brings in Swampit. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick around and lower that Swampit's attack all day long with Bubble Beam. So once I lower it with Bubble Beam, we could already take a Hydro Cannon, but we're definitely going to be able to take it. If this is Sludge Wave, I wasn't sure if I would be able to take it. It is going to be Sludge Wave, but because of that debuff, Mantine actually can take it. So we're going to lower his attack some more before we fall. So that Swamp It is not going to have a good time against whatever I decide to bring in. Uh, but he does decide to bail into Cherim, and that actually allows me to get off another Bubble Beam. We pretty sure we would have gotten to it anyway. Actually, maybe he would have gotten to a Hydro Cannon and knocked me out. Not sure. But either way, we lower that Cherim's attack. So um, I just have to watch out for Weather Ball, right? So I'm going to bring in my own Cherim. I don't want my Galvantula or Cherim to take a Weather Ball. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and take it because he low we lowered his attack. So as you can see, still doing a lot of damage, but we're able to take it. I'm going to go for a Weather Ball of my own. Expecting the shield, he does go ahead and commit one. Uh, so now another Weather Ball is coming my way. I don't want to take this attack, so I am going to go ahead and shield my Cherim. Love using some of these Pokemon I've never used before, like Cherim, right? It's a lot of fun. I'm so hyped for this cup, guys. If you are hyped for this cup, if you want a lot of content, definitely leave a like and let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so yeah, as you can see on my team, I have two Bullet Seed users. That's probably not necessary, but again, we're just trying things out. Uh, so he will bring in his Swampit. We're going to get to another Weather Ball. Uh, I didn't think I could get to a Solar Beam, so I'm just going to go Weather Ball before we go down. He does shield it, not wanting to faint. Bring it in Galvantula, and I will go ahead and shield this. Now, Swampit does double resist uh, electric attacks because it's also a ground type. But you can see Volt Switch is still doing a good amount of damage to Swamp. It's Sludge Wave we're able to take. Look at uh, how much uh, Volt, Volt Switch actually able to knock it out. So definitely a powerful move. Oh, that was closer than I originally thought it would be, to be honest, because I thought I was in a good position. But that Cherim had, had a good answer to some of my Pokemon. Either way, next up, the next game I am leading with Ferrothorn. I want to try out all these Pokemon in this video. He leads with Kingdra. So as I said, Ferrothorn is going to be able to resist Dragon Breath uh, as well as Actazuga and Outrage and if they have Hydro Pump or Water Gun if it's a Legacy one, whatever it happens to be, right? So uh, Fortress can pretty much take these attacks. Uh, we're going to be hit with Octazuka. That does lower our attack. But uh, at least we, we took a shield from him. Going to go ahead and go for that power whip. I also have Flash Cannon on mine, but it has a, several good moves. But I like Flash Cannon. 
Uh, we're going to try to get to another one. Unfortunately, he does get to it. I was expecting the Octazooka, so I'm going to allow it to go through. It is Octazooka. We could take it, lower in our attack again. Uh, but we do get off a power web. And this is why I love Ferrothorn for this cup. Even though Kingdra is amazing, it could still take it out because it resists all of its moves. Now, it is going to be double weak to fire. You know, in comes Typhlosion, of course. Uh, so we're going to bring in my Kingdra. Uh, he does bail. I'm going to bail immediately without seeing what comes in. Going to be that Cherim. Okay, so we do have to watch out for Weather Ball. So obviously we know Weather Ball, he gets to it so fast. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up. It does a good amount of damage. And we go for the Bug Buzz. So this Bug Buzz, uh, that's why I like Galvantula. It's going to be super effective. He does not shield it. I was actually going to go for a bait expecting a shield. Luckily for us, uh, I went for the Bug Buzz. He, I guess, expected the bait or not expected the Bug Buzz. Knocks it out. He knocks me out, which is totally fine because we have the Kingdra. All we have to do is farm down. We don't have to worry about his last shield. We had a shield just in case he went for a Blast Burn. Blast Burn wouldn't have even taken us out because we double resist it. So for the next game, I'm leading with my Blaziken. Now, honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about Blaziken, to be honest with you, in this cup. And that's just because I feel like I would want a fire fast move attack, right? Unless if it's like Cherim, which gets to like weather ball super fast. So honestly, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about Blaziken. It's a good Pokemon. We're going to be trying it out. Either way, I do go for my Flash Cannon, and that's going to do about half. So we just need one more Flash Cannon. Uh, we know a Weather Ball is coming. You know what? I, I decided to take it because I was curious at how much it would do, and it does almost knock us out. I didn't think it would knock us out, but it comes super close. I do go ahead and shield this because I knew I'd be able to get to a Flash Cannon, uh, but I think I bait. Uh, no, I don't. Never mind. What I should have done was baited because he does use the shield in this situation and I actually would have been able to get to another flash cannon but I didn't think I would be able to. But as you can see I could get to a power web so I would have gotten to a flash cannon so that would have been the flash cannon but either way it doesn't matter because it does take his last shield. Uh, so that was that worked out just fine for us. I bring in Blaziken uh, expecting the weather ball able to resist it. Uh, still does a good amount of damage. I mean, it gets to Weather Ball so fast. You can see how much damage Blaziken squishy, right? Uh, so another Weather Ball coming out. Still able to take it. And we're just going to farm down with Counter. We do have... A, a, well, no. We have the Blaze Kick. I was trying to get to a Blast Burn. Could have gotten off the Blaze Kick, but that's okay. We bring in Kingdra. We're looking pretty good because we have a shield. Yes, this could be a Bubble Beam or a Nice Beam. It is going to be a Bubble Beam. Kingdra can definitely easily take it. Uh, and we're going to be able to get to an Outrage, and even though we, we were debuffed with the Bubble Beam, I believe this is still enough to knock out the Mantine. Uh, even if it wasn't, Dragon Breath would have been. And then he brings in Swampert. Okay, so yeah, never mind, he has the last Pokemon, that's why I didn't shield the Bubble Beam. He does go for a Charge Attack, and I am going to go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a simple Hydro Cannon. Now, I do get to my Octazooka. I didn't know if this would knock it out because we were debuffed, but it does end up knocking it out and we still take the win. You can see how powerful Kingdra is. I love Kingdra for this cup. I can't, this, I'm, sh I'm gonna have a finalized team video eventually. Kingdra, you could count on it, is gonna be on that team. So I'm leading with my uh, Galvantula against a Jump Pluff. So, uh, interesting match. I mean, I would say this favors Galvantula because we do have that Bug Buzz or we could bait. Plus even Volt Switch, right? Jump Pluff resisted, still doing a good amount of damage. However, he does go for Aerial Ace. And I didn't realize that Jump Love got Aerial Ace, to be honest, before this video. So um, I'm going to go for a Bluff to Discharge. He does not fall for it, so good play on his end. Could have went for that Bug Buzz, but he called the bait. I'm going to take this Aerial Ace and get off another Discharge, hoping that this would be enough to knock out the Jump Pluff. I knew it would probably be just enough, uh, but he does go ahead and shield it. So okay, we, we could have knocked him out with Bug Buzz, but hey, what can I say? We went for the bait. Uh, didn't work out for us that time. That is okay. Uh, so Jump Pluff is another Pokemon you know we're going to be trying out. I actually have a really good PvP IV one. I just didn't give it a second move yet. In comes the Energy Ball. We do go ahead and shield it because even though we're neutral to it, I mean, we're, not, we're pretty much a glass cannon, so we do a good amount of damage. So in comes the opposing Kingdra. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the bait, the Octazooka, and he makes a really good play by not shielding this. So he calls the bait. Fantastic. We do get the attack drop, but I would have preferred knocking it out with... Uh, outrage, but I tried to bait. He it didn't pay off for me. 
Uh, so we're able to take that Octazooka. In comes Typhlosion, which is not good for us. I am going to go ahead and go for this Power Whip. Now, the good thing is that Typhlosion does not have a fast move, a fire attack. It has Shadow Claw. So uh, we're able to take the Shadow Claws. This is going to be a Blast Burn and knock us out. So I will shield because I know I can get to a Power Whip as we do. Uh, so this is probably going to draw the last shield or knock out the Typhlosion. I does draw the last shield, so that's good. Uh, hoping to get to another one, but we were just shy, not able to do so. Uh, so that's okay. So Typhlosion going to come out and knock out my Ferrothorn. I bring in the Kingdra, and I do successfully knock out that Typhlosion, and in comes the opposing Kingdra. And, uh, did you see how close I was? I was almost close. I was almost to a charge move, but that Kingdra said nope, and it knocked me out, and I fell. So, good game. So, next up, I believe this is the final game. It's going to be a Mantine Mirror match. So, my goal is, okay, I'm not expecting a shield at all from the opposing Mantine. So, I'm just going to go straight Ice Beam. It's going to be neutral to the Mantine. And uh, we just want to get off some pretty good damage. Uh, so, in comes the Charge Attack. Of course, I'm not going to shield it. Could be an Ice Beam. Could be a Bubble Beam. It is going to be a Bubble Beam. So, he will lower my Mantine's attack. So, we're going to be doing less damage. So, maybe... Um, the opponent played that well to go for the bubble beam just to lower the attack so the incoming attacks are doing less. This is going to be an ice beam. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for an ice beam myself. Uh, I was thinking about baiting but since he didn't fall for the baits the last couple of times I decided not to. In this case he does shield but we're still able to get to a bubble beam to lower the opposing Mantine's attack. So we're going to go ahead and do that just right now. And he does shield that so double shield so that's really good for us. Uh, I do have my Galvantula, which will easily knock it out, so that that um, Mantine is about to collapse. So out comes the Bubble Beam, we're able to take it, could have taken a Nice Beam, I kind of expected the Bubble Beam because he wanted to lower my attack against his Cherub, but don't forget, we have that Bug Buzz. So I'm going to go ahead and commit a shield, because I want to get off Bug Buzz. Now our attack is lowered, uh, he does pull the switch, so luckily I do not click on it. Uh, I could have went for the Charge Attack, Discharge, but I decided to switch. I'm still weak to Ty Typhlosion, so switching there was definitely not the correct play. And then I make another bad play. I go for the Bug Buzz, which Typhlosion resists. I should have went for Discharge because it's less energy and it still would have, even if it didn't knock it out, it still would have done almost enough. And then we could have fainted it with Volt Switch. But now we're able to win anyway because we get to the Bug Buzz. But those were definitely a couple of mistakes I made. Uh, but either way, we're still able to win that. So really good game, really well played on my opponent's end. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.